They are often called sea wolves, nomads who live most of their lives on the ocean. These are the dedicated volunteers who work on board the Greenpeace ships. South African Barry Hubert quit his job at a private game farm and sold or gave away almost everything he owned to work as a deckhand for the last five years. Now, why am I doing what I'm doing? Because I, I believe that there's no better thing to do with my life than what I'm doing now. I, I think the rat race is basically a waste of time and energy if you look at the direction the planet is going in. So, yeah, this makes sense to me. It feels right. It just makes me happy. Also devoting his life to conservation is Dutch native Pascal van Arp, a technical diver who joined this year's Greenpeace expedition to Mount Viema, 1,600 kilometers off the west coast of South Africa. The seamount rises 4,600 meters from the ocean floor up to around 20 meters below the water's surface. A fishing ban was put in place at Mount Viema in 2007 in the hope it would allow the marine life time to recover, and it has. A small team makes several dives a day to gather as much data as possible. Different species of fish will be catalogued and water and kelp samples studied to give a better picture of this unique ecosystem. Pascal's passion for the ocean flowed over into conservation in 2012 when he started ghost fishing an NGO which retrieves discarded fishing gear all over the world. The United Nations estimates that 640,000 tons of equipment, such as nets and traps, is discarded around the oceans each year. It's a sort of circle of death, we always name it, because the, the fish is getting catched by the net or by the lines. It dies, it attracts other animals, they also die in the same net or in the lines or in the hooks. So it's continuously, continuously, continuously going. It's just a waste of fish. These environmental issues prompted 39-year-old Barry to completely change his life. He lives three months on the boat and three months off and uses his downtime to travel wherever expeditions take him. I decided that I didn't want to wait until the day that I retire to do the things that I want to do. Um, I decided that I wanted to take the risk now and give up the securities and follow my dreams. And if I end up 60 or 70 years old with nothing, then at least I've had a good life and I did the things that I wanted to do. Greenpeace expedition team leader and marine biologist Tilo Mack has been an activist for 20 years, but he also joins in some of the dives to get a first-hand look at the seamount. I think this is just the perfect example of what happens if you leave nature on its own for a certain period of time, even if it was overfished, it will replenish shortly. The Greenpeace research mission is part of its year-long pole-to-pole expedition to lobby the UN for an international legally binding treaty to preserve the oceans. Our lives depend on the health of the oceans and um, the oceans are in a historic crisis. Consequences of climate change, overfishing, plastics in the sea, if we want to do something now, we would have to declare at least 30% of the oceans as marine protected areas, latest until 2030. According to campaigner Bukelo Anzimande, a paradigm shift is needed in the approach to biodiverse areas located in the high seas, like Mount Verma. A shocking stat is that at the moment less than 1% or close to 1% of the high seas are protected. Uh, and considering that the high seas cover about 50% of the planet, 1% is completely insignificant. Changing these statistics is exactly what keeps Barry going. If they tell me, Greenpeace tells me tomorrow that there's no more money, there's no more funds to pay me a salary, I would still keep on doing exactly what I'm doing now. No doubt about it. Life at sea might be tough at times, but for these volunteers, conservation isn't just a job. It's a call for change and a search for meaning.